In this video we share an exorcist on Saint Gemma and the demons. The following comes from the American priest exorcist Stephen Rossetti's website, spiritualdirection.com. For 10 years, Valerie was deep into the occult. She visited houses of witchcraft, pagan temples, and attached herself to gurus and pagan deities. By the grace of God, she had a powerful experience of Christ and realized how evil it all was. But the path back has been tortuous. These witches, gurus, and demons are not letting her go without a fight. Demons of divination typically are dug in deep and hard to expunge. They are attacking and tormenting Valerie daily. But after weekly deliverance sessions for a year, she is much better. She is starting to emerge from the mental darkness and spiritual lethargy that increasingly engulfed her in the occult. She now has more moments of light and peace. Valerie recently had a dream. She told me she saw a huge Catholic shrine. On one side of the building was the word, pray. On the other side was the word, rosary. She took this as a clear sign that she should pray the rosary daily, which she is now doing. She was also given the sure knowledge that this shrine was in an Italian town called Luca. Valerie told me she never heard of Luca and knew zero about it. So, she went online and found that it was the home of Saint Gemma Golgani. Saint Gemma herself regularly suffered furious assaults of the devil on her body and her soul, so fiendish and continuous that she imagined herself possessed and begged to be exorcised. The body of Saint Gemma is currently interred in the Passionist Monastery Sanctuary of Saint Gemma in Lucca, Italy. Saint Gemma has been a huge help to Valerie on her road to spiritual recovery. Valerie even claims that Saint Gemma woke her up on Easter Sunday to attend Mass when she was in danger of oversleeping. She said, When I woke up, I was filled with an enormous love for Jesus in my heart. I knew this was a special grace. Likewise, Saint Gemma was noted for being filled with a pure, childlike love for Jesus. Valerie also said that whenever she sees a picture of beautiful Gemma and prays for her help, the demons react strongly. She said they hate her and have a pure disgust for her. The demons tormenting Valerie make her feel like vomiting whenever Saint Gemma is invoked. They shout, keep that woman away from me. Demons hate Gemma. We love her. Gemma Golgani, also known as the Flower of Luca, was an Italian mystic often referred to as the Daughter of Passion, for her intense replication of the Passion of Christ. She was born on March 12, 1878, in a small Italian town near Lucca. On June 8, 1899, Gemma had an internal warning that some unusual grace was to be granted to her. She felt pain and blood coming from her hands, feet and heart. These were the marks of the stigmata. Each Thursday evening, Gemma would fall into rapture and the marks would appear. Such marks, called the stigmata in the language of the Catholic Church, refers to the appearance of the wounds of the crucified Jesus Christ appearing on the bodies of some men and women whose lives are so conformed to his that they reflect those wounds of redemptive love for others. The stigmata remained until Friday afternoon or Saturday morning. When the bleeding would stop, the wounds would close and only white marks would remain in place of the deep gashes. Saint Gemma's stigmata would continue to appear until her confessor, Reverend Germanus Ruopolo, advised her to pray for their disappearance due to her declining health. Through her prayers, the phenomenon ceased, but the white marks remained on her skin until her death. She died at age 25 on Holy Saturday, April 11, 1903. The parish priest in her company said, she died with a smile which remained upon her lips, so that I could not convince myself that she was really dead. The following are Saint Gemma's words to Jesus in her own prayer. I wish, O oh Jesus, that my voice could reach to the ends of the world, to call all sinners and tell them to enter into thy heart. Oh, if only all sinners would come to thy heart. Come. Come sinners, do not be afraid. The sword of justice cannot reach you here. Amen. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.